Starting today, managing your schedule is about to get easier, faster, and stress-free. With iOS 18, the calendar app is smarter than ever. But these aren't just new tricks. Even if you're not on iOS 18, there are powerful hidden features that help you stay ahead of your tasks, avoid last minute chaos, and plan effortlessly. Imagine never missing an event or scrambling to find a reminder again. From seamless task syncing to custom views and smart notifications, these tips will help you take full control of your time without the hassle. To get started, let's focus on the monthly view. You've probably used this feature, but did you know there's a lesser known option inside it? As you know, you can easily switch between compact, stacked, detailed, and list views using this icon right here. Instead, you can use another option, like to zoom in and out with a simple pinch gesture to seamlessly move from compact to stacked and detailed views. Want more details? Zoom in further to see specific events. And here's another tip. If you tap the list view icon, you'll get a compact calendar up top with all your events listed below for quick access for the today events. To easily jump to as specific event, let's head back to the detailed view. To create a new event quickly, press and hold on a day. This works in the today view too. Now let's jump into week planning trick. The today view can feel limiting when you want to plan for an entire week. Here's a handy trick. Tap the icon at the top to show multiple days, like two days side by side but here's where it gets even better. Rotate your iPhone 90 degrees and boom, you've got a full weekly view. Need to see more details? Pinch with two fingers to expand and get a clearer look. Here's where drag and drop comes in handy. You can move events to different times, days, or even weeks. Just press and hold an event, then use another finger to navigate to the desired day. It works in both daily and monthly views. By the way, you can press and hold an event briefly to bring up quick options like cut, copy, duplicate, or delete. If you copy an event, you can paste it when creating a new one. Just tap under the title field and all the event details will appear. Think you've seen all the customization options? There's one hidden setting that changes the game. Let's create a new event and explore some extra features. Title, add an emoji to make your event stand out visually. Location, enter a physical address, video call link, phone number, or FaceTime link. If you've added a video call, the location field will show a quick join button. For physical locations, tapping it will open the navigation app. You can also set all day events, start and end times. Ever need to set a super specific time easily without endless scrolling? Here's a quick tip. Tap the event time once to set it in five minute increments, but tap it again and you'll get a numeric keypad for entering an exact time like 1111. Travel time. If you don't add a location, you can set this manually. If you do add a location, Calendar will calculate travel time based on driving, cycling, or public transit. Other options. Setting the recurrence, daily, weekly, or make it custom five days in a week. Choosing which calendar the event belongs to. Adding alerts to remind you. Attaching files using the Files app. As always, you can attach the file the standard way, or you can attach photos or notes to events with drag and drop. For example, press and hold a photo, switch to the calendar app with another finger, and drop the photo into the attachments field. The same trick works for notes. Just drag them into the notes section of your event. Speaking about notes, if you are Apple Notes user, I have created a playlist, include some amazing useful tips tutorials. Do recommend starting with this one. Click the I button above or check the description below. Moving events between apps. Did you know you can move calendar events to other apps? Press and hold an event, then drag it over to the mail app to drop it into a draft email, or drag it into the reminders app to create a linked reminder. Here's the best part. Tapping the calendar icon in reminders takes you straight back to the linked event. Let's talk about one of the most underrated features in iOS 18, one that's an absolute game changer for multitaskers. Imagine this all your tasks and events in one place. No more jumping between apps, no more scattered to-do lists. With iOS 18, you can finally sync your calendar and reminders for a seamless all-in-one view. So how do you turn this on? It's simple. Open the calendar app, tap calendars at the bottom, scroll down to scheduled reminders and switch it on. A check mark means it's active. And just like that, your reminders with due dates will instantly show up in your calendar. Let's say you set a reminder, buy groceries at 6 p.m. 
Now, it appears right next to your scheduled events. And here's the best part. If you check off a reminder directly from the calendar app, it's automatically marked as done in reminders. No extra steps, no app switching, just pure efficiency. When creating an event, the default duration is set to one hour, but you can change this. Open calendar settings, scroll down to the default duration setting, pick your preferred event length, maybe 30 minutes or two hours. It's up to you. Let's stick with settings for a bit. There's more to personalize. First, check out the fixed time zone option. Turn this on if you want event times to always display in a specific time zone. If it's off, event times will adjust to your current location. Then, under default alerts times, decide if alerts should automatically be added to birthdays, events, or all day events. If you've entered a location for an event, you can also enable notifications for travel times. It's a handy way to stay on schedule. Scroll down further to adjust a few final settings. Under week starts on, choose the day of the week your calendar starts, Sunday, Monday, or any day you prefer. You can also set your default calendar. This determines where new events save automatically. Finally, don't forget about location suggestions, a great feature for planning meetings or appointments. Enable it to get smart recommendations when adding event locations. I can't believe I used to waste so much time manually typing events into my Apple calendar until I found this. Turns out you can create events instantly, straight from your notes, emails, and even photos without typing a single word. Yeah, I know it sounds too good to be true, but trust me, once you see this in action, you'll never go back. Let's jump in. Tip one, notes to calendar, one tap and done. Picture this, you're planning a lunch date, so you quickly type, meet Sarah at 2 p.m. next Tuesday in your notes app. Now, instead of switching to calendar, manually typing the details, setting reminders, ugh, what a hassle. Just tap on the date, boom, Apple detects it instantly. You'll see an option to create event. Tap that, make any tweaks you need, and done. Event added in seconds, no manual entry, no forgetting important plans. And if you're anything like me, constantly juggling dates in your head, this trick is a lifesaver. Tip two, emails to calendar, no more copy pasting. You know those emails that say something like, hey, let's meet up this Friday at 10 a.m. Well, Apple Mail is smart. It automatically highlights dates and times. Just tap on it. Yep, seriously, one tap and you get the option to add it directly to your calendar. No copy pasting, no switching between apps, just a quick tap and it's locked in. Tip three, photos to calendar, the wildest trick yet. All right, this one blew my mind the first time I tried it. Imagine you take a screenshot of a flight itinerary or a concert poster, something with a date and time on it. Now, instead of staring at it later, trying to remember to add it to your calendar, just tap and hold the date in the image. Apple's live text feature detects it instantly and just like magic, you'll see the option to create event. No typing, no forgetting, just tap and done. And get this, it even works on handwritten notes. If someone scribbles down a date and time, just scan it, tap and boom, it's in your calendar. I mean, how cool is that? Looking for more tips like this? Click one of those amazing videos and keep watching.